Rose Hat Show with a Rose Voice. This is a special edition and I'm hosting you for today. Top one, Mark, today's my name. Join me at home. I'm doing something very special today because this edition is celebrating the creator of this show and her husband. This is Mrs. Bisi Akitayo and I will be asking her what she loves, what she admires, the values of TV in Akitayo and what she will say is most engaging and exciting about him. What would you say is something that changed in your life after encountering Stephen Akitayo? Okay, I can I can actually say so many things have actually changed since I met Stephen Akitayo. Okay. I've officially known Stephen Akitayo for 14 years. Um, dated for three years, married for eight years. And so for me, I used to be a very shy person. It's kind of a little bit shy, but not as I used to be. <laughs> so I used to be very shy. I don't want to come out of my shell. And I have a lot within me I knew I could do. And when I met him, all that actually changed. It wasn't immediate. It was a gradual process. And I kept learning from him. And to do those things which I believed I couldn't do them because of my shyness, um, he has been able to push me to be able to do them. And I enjoy my life better right I now. can't <laughs> believe that she said she was shy. That's a major change being around him mm. has done. Because really, I don't see you as a shy person. I think you might, you might be introverted. <laughs> but I'm actually not that shy. you're shy. Okay, so something else that I want to ask you about, um, Stephen, is he's someone that his life shows a lot of, um, his, his experienced success, his experienced principles work for him. What would you say you admire most about him? Hmm. Yeah, what I admire most is the fact that he never gives up. If you want something, no matter how long it's going to take, no matter what happens while he's trying to get it, he doesn't give up. He just goes for his animation gets it. That's his go getter. And uh, one of the things about Stevie Lakita, because he's choleric, and one of the beautiful virtues about that is that before he is done with a particular vision, he will tell you his vision for the next 30, 50 years. And before he's even done with the current one you're dealing with, and it's just like, oh, thank God, maybe we're going to have a break, like a rest. <laughs> and before you know, something else just comes up and he's doing another and he's telling you that, you know what, the vision we have for 2000, the vision we have for 2035, we have to do this, we have to do that. And from one project to another project, and that actually has really inspired me as well as a wife, as a businesswoman to also um, want to make sure that even before I finish a particular project yeah, as an individual, as a, I have to see the next one and I have to also, because I remember then when I was talking about being shy, there's so many things that when I was shy, I couldn't do. Mm. And I remember it would tell me, babe, you know, you can do this. I believe in you, you can do that. If I can do it, how many years do I have? Just use the same method. And trust me, you'll be able to achieve this. And by the way, he, used to, he has always been my mentor. Yeah. I actually um, started dating. He was my mentor before we started dating. Oh, and uh, <laughs> he was It was my mentor, mentor your no, next no, no, no. wife. Actually, that was not the plan. Mm. His plan wasn't to date. What actually happened was that he saw me, mm -hmm. and um, I remember when he was sharing the story with me, he just looked at me and said, This girl, she's not happy. What's going on? Every time I see her, there's, this, there's no joy coming from her. I just needed to help her mm -hmm. to make sure that that thing that I was lacking, that joy, that happiness, I could actually help her bring it back. Because I was from a broken home and mm -hmm. I had so many other issues like that. and. That was actually what, what came up, but then it evolved into something Honestly, else. Honestly, I even prayed mm -hmm. that God, I don't want to marry this man. Is it what This might even be <laughs> pray, romantic or <laughs> can <laughs> even have fun. Like, mm -hmm. it's just what you guys are balling. <laughs> you know, so I'm really, really, I, I like that about um, your relationship with your husband. But let me just um, ask this final question. Okay. Um, you've said what you um, admire about him, you've said um, what is changed in you and I'm at the point where I want to say what would you want to see next in him because mm. it's his birthday so this is birthday. Oh, Stephen, I can tell. what 
what do I want to see in that movie? Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> so that question is kind of like, what do I still want to see? In? Because it's not as if he's walking and he's not having fun. Mm. He's not taking his personal health into um, check. Um, relationship with people too is okay. He spends quality time with his family. So, but the only thing I I, I would say is that sometimes, or so once in a while, mm-hmm. in as much as he does take a break, sometimes I think um, at times he still needs to take one or two break because sometimes he forgets that he needs to really take a break <laughs> and keeps working and keeps working. But I think um, also when it comes to um, Fitness, mm. yes, I think that fitness is key. Mm. I told him that he can pay me to be his <laughs> <laughs> So I think Actually, that that's, that's one thing. So that that's what we're going to tell mm. him that, that yes, yes. Doctor Stephen Akita, the expectation your wife has for you in this new year is fitness. We want you to have six packs in the next few no, 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 no. years. No, 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 I don't want you don't six pack. Is it because no. you don't want competition? Uh, no, uh, not because of competition. I actually do not even admire a girl okay, okay. I have never. Okay, okay. But okay, I just okay. feel that if it takes that personal fitness yes. into more consideration because sometimes it does it's really it's rather it's after oh babe i hope you are following with your own fitness exercise mm. you are doing everything mm. uh, but it's one maybe it does first of once in a while mm. a little, maybe next we'll month, longer, next month. We... what changed in what what changed in you from meeting Stephen Akitayo? what changed in me um my shyness my procrastination um my not taking i i i used to look at business in a different perspective like sometimes you have to please everybody mm. so i got to know that you don't need to please everybody you just need to get the job done i got to know how to work with people better i mm-hmm. got to know how to be a good leader as mm. well from him uh so a lot, a lot. So, <laughs> what do you admire most about Dr. Stephen Akitayo. What I admire most about him is the fact that he's a go-getter. Mm-hmm. When Stephen Akitayo wants something, no matter how many times he falls to the ground, it doesn't deter him. He will get up again and keep trying and trying. He can just use different method until he gets it. And one thing about him is that if his heart is set on getting something, he no matter it. what he gets it. Welcome, how are you? I'm friends. What's your name? My name is Balogun Uluwatobi. Balogun Uluwatobi. So as you, you, you take rest inside Rose Rose. Uh, you didn't fit you. You didn't fit you. I'm just praying that God should do it. Sorry. Okay, introduce yourself and what you do. Um, I'm doing hand work and the work that I'm doing is for credential work. I used to work tire and fix, change, all this thing like that. Any thing issue about tire, I used to do it. Can do it. What's your educational background? The educational background as in the school you went to when did you finish? You stop at primary school? Uh, yes, I stopped at primary school. Okay. okay. So are you married? You are yes, I'm married. How many kids? Just in the one. One. Yeah. So um what do you need to take your your organizer business to a bigger level? Um I need just uh, I need a machine and as in it, the tool that's the tools that we used to use is costly. Oh. So now I'm just trying to struggle and work uh, maybe if I can get it. But the one that I'm using now is just a little one. Mm. It's just a roadside uh, for me. There's always a little machine that I'm using now. GTEx Home is a brand with vision of having the largest green and smart estate with innovation and technology. The vision has given birth to Jasper Gardenia along the coastline of Ibejuleki, Lagos. The first green and smart affordable estate. Now, Jasper Estate is just 10 minutes away from Dangote Refinery and it's just opposite the Lekki Golf Course. And guess what? The title is Gizek. Now, with 17 million Naira, you can get a property here. Yes. And you can also make a down payment of 5 million Naira 
and you can choose not to pay it at one go there is a stretch of 24 months payment so what that means is that you have two years to pay for the property so it is pertinent you are part of what is going on here because here my friend is the future gtex homes we don't just sell properties we help you build your future Okay, so if um, let's assume I'm not saying that is happening on this show, but let's assume somebody wants to invest in your organizer business. Let's say the person wants to invest one million naira. How you will you be able to pay the person back the money and even give him interest? Um, when person want to maybe want to invest me in the organizer work. The thing is that maybe me and the person will just discuss and we talk maybe in a month or in a week. Then we discuss how, how much I will be paying it to you. And you and don't you don't have a program yet in place. Yes. Because you should be able to know from your current job that okay, if somebody invests um, one million to me now, I'll buy this machine. If I have this machine, let's say you are currently making um, 1,000 a day. Yes. With the help of this machine, maybe I can be doing 5,000 a day. And out of that 5,000, every week I'll be giving the person back so 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 amount, right? Until I finish paying and I'll give him X interest, right? Because um, I always say this, the opportunity, okay? What we call luck is opportunity it's meeting it's preparation. Nice. Yes. Right, so you say person day lucky, person day lucky, but that luck now because he too don't read. Don't read yet. So the day that thing come, he, he was able to he be to ready. Be ready to do it exactly. Yeah. So I'm putting together a. This is what I'm, we're doing for this show is just to inspire people and encourage people that if they want success, they can have it. But there's a process. Um, so what two things I would do? Number one, I'm putting together a training for you guys on how to understand business mm -hmm. structure right you know everything is now about that you have gone to school even if you didn't go to school there are things you can start learning mm -hmm. and it's never late to be educated either at 20 or at 40 the day you stop learning is the day you start dying so we we'll put together that training some people will come and train you say this is how you put your business in place even now for organizer in a way in a modern way such that in no time, time you know you can expand your organizer business yes. you know to a good level okay the second thing i'm doing is you, know, you can move your hand i'm giving you a um a, ch a check of hundred thousand through our sponsor of this show okay. it's a grant meaning it's a gift it's a right it's and uh, we'll follow up to see how you use the money if you use it well then me and my friends can come and see how we can invest in your in your business mm -hmm. and see what comes to us. Okay? Because it's business. We have to make something on the side if we invest. Yeah. But this one is a gift of hundred thousand. So what's your name? My name is Balogu Bati. Balogu. 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 Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm very, I'm very, very grateful. You're welcome. I'm very appreciative. You're welcome. So may God, may God keep on helping you. Amen. 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 Thank you for coming. Yes, My guest, thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome. Well right. You can go. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. G Text Homes, a subsidiary of G Text Global, brought to you by Stephen McIntyre, and is bringing you.
Jasper Estate. It is located along the urban area of Ibeju Lake, Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> this is just luxury at the tip of your fingers, which is 12 minutes drive from the Dlaka Pine Tropicana. It's 15 minutes from Dangote Refinery. And it's 5 minutes to Lekki Town. 2 minutes from Stone Beach Resort. It is just adjacent to the Dangote Jetty. And if you're one that likes to travel down memory lane and be in tune with the relics, Awolo Museum is 5 minutes away. It is barely 11 minutes from Lekki Deep Sea Port. Pick up that phone, dial that number, send that WhatsApp message to the number on your screen and secure your slot today. Also available in Abuja and 20% discount also apply. Hello guys, my name is Steven Akintayo. Welcome to 360 Seconds in a Rolls Royce with me. And in this episode, I want to share with you the power of land banking. Many years ago, I remember coming to Lagos for the first time. Well, I thought I was coming to Lagos. And the house was said to be the house my mother had built. Um, before you know it, today now I know I, I landed in Songwater. We kept going. I kept dropping from the Okada and then to, you know, pass a particular place and then move to another. And I kept getting pissed off. Why will my mother, okay, build a house in this suburb? I mean, why? I remember growing up in Meduguri for over five years. Okay, because my mother was a civil servant, she was a breadwinner, my father's business had crumbled before I was born. Hence, we had to live in a village that there was no electricity for five years until we moved out of the place. Even though it was a house, we had to be doing what we call short put. Yeah, some of you may not know what short put is, but I understand. <laughs> you could Google it, maybe you get the answer. And for me, this was like a repetition of such lifestyle. But I was foolish, I later realized, because that same house, as at that time, it was nothing. Today is what millions. And it was the only house my mother left for us when she died, because we had nobody. And we just, um, I still had my siblings, I just, just finished school, and we had nowhere to go. I remember in that house, some days we stayed for three days and there was no food, but at least we had a roof, over our head. You know, she bought that land for 8,000 naira. Okay, today's worth a lot more. And from that experience, I've learned to invest in land banking. Today we have estates across the country. And we have a vision of having 200 estates across Africa. And just because of this, I do not look down on any piece of land. You see, the reality is this. Many people have built lasting wealth with land banking okay what are the ingredients you need number one you have to have foresight number two you have to be humble because you're starting you know with a place that looks like it's nothing today but years later it's going to be worth a lot more land banking is basically buying land for the purpose of appreciation you're keeping it for years and waiting so when it appreciates you can sell it for a whole lot more money do you know that redeemed Christian Center campground. The first set of properties there, landed properties there, was bought for 6,000 Naira. You know, behind, behind, behind redeemed now, cost millions. Do you know that Lekki, okay, phase one, you could still buy, or Lekki phase two, or Lekki, generally. 15 years ago, you could still buy an acre for 25 million. Or you actually can buy almost 10 acres for 25 million about 20 years ago and today for you to get 10 acres you're looking at 5 billion naira in Lekki. The truth remains if you do not invest today you will have to pay those who invested yesterday a whole lot of money and of course you wonder why you remain poor. You can be big, you can build wealth not just for you, but even for your children's children. If you have foresight, if you are humble, and more importantly, if you execute, go buy land somewhere, anywhere today, and leave it for years to appreciate. But if you're smart enough, 
you will buy land in the outskirts of cities. Okay, you will buy land in places that have future projects coming. You look at where is the people moving to, whether because they can afford the major cities, okay, or the main uh, township, then where are people moving? And you want to quickly go get something there now. No matter how it looks, if you can get something in that place today, will be lots of whole, what a whole lot of money tomorrow, and you'll be glad that you did. I'm Stephen Akintayo, Africa's most sought-after investment coach and serial entrepreneur. I hope you've learned a thing or two from this series. Uh, feel free to shoot me um, a message if you've gotten value. Follow me across all social media platforms. I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and see you next week. but I'm known as your. I'm a broadcaster and an entertainer. I'm Steve Akitayo, I do uh, as an investment coach, as an author, and, and a speaker, a, a, a show host, and now he's a presenter. So he's coming to take our work too. Them days when I do radio dramas, I used mm. to do a lot of radio dramas for BBC. Okay. So when I was doing radio dramas, then they would say, okay, if you are doing more than one voice, yeah. um, you get paid extra. Oh. People, it's important for you to save money so money will save you. So for this show, you must make sure you watch the show. And I'm telling you that you will learn a lot. And then, um, so you don't just um, make money and want to live extravagant life. Now, one thing that is important that you must know is you owe nobody. And nobody is owing you.